Welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of the FA Cup Chronicles second qualifying round now. My name is Craig and we are getting ever, ever closer to the first round proper of the FA Cup. Today we go back to the team who we saw victorious in the first qualifying rounds against I believe it was Didcot Town and that is FC United of Manchester. Today they have a home tie against National League South Hungerford. So I didn't actually think Hungerford were actually in the National League South. I'd never actually heard of them before, so fair play to this team. It seems that they are sort of that mid-table kind of uh, National League South team. If anything, they've only just started their season, I believe. Yeah, four games in, 17th in the league, so whether there'll be mid-table or relegation battle to be determined. In fact, they haven't even won a league game this whole season. I think this is going to be their first FA Cup match as well. Yeah. So they're already out of the FA Trophy. This is their first FA Cup match. They haven't had a competitive win all season yet. God, it's been a month, but still. It's an excellent chance, really, for FC United to potentially get that upset uh, victory, which would be the first one we'd witness in this season's FA Cup. So since the last time we saw FC United, they are now third in their league. So they're in, they are in a promotion hunt, 15 games in. They're in a playoff hunt, so I mean, good grief, South Shields are running away from them. So really for FC United, it's about basically getting as good a spot as you can in the playoffs. And their schedule, well, rather, the games since then, they've only played three games, and they've only done one league game. So 2-0 win against Scarborough, but otherwise, they're out of the Northern Premier Cup, but they're through the FA Trophy. I was going to say, they, you know, they faced Kempston. Imagine if they faced Hungerford in the FA Trophy, that would be quite funny. But today, they have a chance, and I think they have a good chance, of the third qualifying round. So, on paper, Hungerford Town are the favourites. I, I don't know, I, I feel like we could actually see a, a cup set here today. And I kind of do, kind of hope we do, because that's what the FA Cup is supposed to be all about. Now, as ever, oh, look at that, we get to see him come out of the tunnel as well. That's magnificent. Uh, we're not going to see the lineup. So, as soon as why are we so high up? Good grief! Right, we're going to go through all the team lineups as soon as we've uh, just done this highlight. So we just have to wait for this to finish, and then we'll go through both team sheets. I did forget to have a check of who the top scorer is for Hungerford, but we're just going to, have to rely on the fact that it the strikers they're playing today are surely what a shot, and that's oh Walker Vice had a good chance. I think it was offside anyway, but that was an excellent opportunity for FC United to take the lead, an early lead within three minutes. Right, so the starting lineup for FC United, a 4-2-3-1 they're playing. Lava coming goal, Dodd at left back, Cousin Dawson and Colvin at centre back, Woods at right back, Charters and Potts in central midfield, Walker Weiss on the left wing, Pemberton on the right wing, McAngela as the attacking midfielder behind Linney. I think Linney was their top scorer last time. We saw him, and yes, he's now got seven goals in four, in 15 appearances, in 14 starts, competitively. So he's definitely sort of the informed danger guy for FC United. For Hungerford, they've gone very defensive here. A three, five, effectively a 3-5-2 or 5-3-2, whether they're attacking or defending. So in goal, Davis, and their centre-backs are Ob Obama Kinawa. Obama Kinwa, yeah, Obama Kinwa, Barry Hargreaves and Haynes. I had literally just having trouble seeing Barry Hargreaves right there. Ballinger on the left. Is that the same Ballinger? Yes, I think it is. See, yeah, Jacob Ballinger. I have him on my Romford FC save on Twitch. So Ballinger at left wing back, which he's good at. Saunders at right wing back. Jones, Evans, Gia Mattel, central midfield, and Hewlett and Seeger up front. How are Hewlett? and Seager looking. He's not played, well he's played a few games but he's literally scored no goals. So Hewlett has no goals this season. Seager, Hungerford have two strikers who have not scored. Oh good grief. Well we can see where their problems are and not just in defence. Looks like we have a Hungerford side who can't score and FC United have a striker who's banging form at the start of this season. 
Right, FC United on the attack here. Walker Vice, a good chance, and it's just straight at the keeper. That's two good opportunities he's had now. Eh, he should have done a lot better, but it's early days. It's early days, yeah. Packed house, by the way. As we get further and further into the FA Cup, we're going to get more packed houses as we go forward, especially as uh, the more smaller teams start playing big team, uh, the bigger teams. Up front, are, sorry, up higher in the leagues, and that was a, another good opportunity for FC United. They're knocking on the door here. Surely they're going to get that goal that they so desperately deserve, if anything. I thought that was a penalty there. Oh, no, never mind. It just went beyond everybody. All right, free kick to Hungerford. Can they score their first goal? Great save by Lavacombe. And cleared by FC United. Very good save. Lavacombe looking like a strong goalkeeper today. FC United with their own chance, uh, with their own free kick and chances just shoots that wide. There's a lot more highlights in this game compared to uh, the I think the last two or three games combined to be honest. No, the last two games combined we had a lot of action in the first preliminary round. FC United are just camped in Hungerford's uh, half and Walker Vice has gathered up the ball here. Who did he find? McAngela! And it's been blocked. And uh, that is the highlight but FC United just looks so dangerous. Walker Vice. I think a cup set is truly on the cards here, ladies and gentlemen. Potts back into the middle and plays it back. Cousin Dawson, who plays it up front to Linney Pemberton. He's got a long shot in him. Don't bet against it. Not in this case. He's looking for someone. Ah, oh, McAngela. That was well deserved. Very, very well deserved. Habib McAngela, his second goal of the season. FC United's first of the match. And it's a deserved 1 0 lead after just 29 minutes. Pemberton. Doing well to hold up the ball here, waiting for someone to make that run. And it was McAngelo who made it at the very near post. And the keeper, uh, he could have done better there. But regardless, very well deserved for FC United. They should have been, what, 2 3 nil up by now, to be honest with you. But they got that breakthrough. And what that's going to do, that's going to force Hungerford to have to come out now. They have to attack. They've got no choice. Otherwise, it's going to be a humiliating defeat for them. And trust me, I know about humiliating cup defeats. You should see me on Twitch. Oh, the ball's just ping-ponging back and forth between that defence now. That is half-time. 1-0 FC United at the break. And look at the XG, by the way. 0 0.99, effectively a 1 for FC United. But Hungerford had nothing. Like, literally one shot. And that's it. It's just been domination, really and truly. My goodness. I... If Hungerford are going to get anything out of this, they need to actually do something a little bit more ambitious. But I wouldn't bet on it. They've got two strikers who can't even find the back of the net. I don't think they know where the net is. So now Hungerford are on the attack here. And there's Hewlett. And it's over. I actually thought that was going in. Nope. There is an example of a striker who is so bereft of confidence. He does not know where that net is. And here come Hungerford again. I think their manager's probably kicked him up the backside. Probably thrown a few bottles at them. Some of them probably come out looking black and blue around the eyes. A few punches thrown at half-time, maybe. I mean, to be fair, if it was anything like Salford City in uh, the class of 92, you can probably bet that's exactly what the manager was doing at half-time. <laughs> Just, like, yelling at them. And that's a poor shot by Pemberton. Just yelling down at them, throwing teacups, throwing boots, throwing water bottles. Just throwing everything all over the place. Not that it's done anything for Hungerford. I mean, only two shots. They've had one shot in this half. This could be another one. Evans with the free kick and I can't even beat the first defender. Wow. Just wow. It's very pitiful from Hungerford at this point and offside. Obama Kinwa. Obama Kinwa. There we go. I, I, get, I have trouble saying his name clearly. And that's Linney and that's 2 0. That's got to be game, surely. Cup set on the cards, ladies and gents. If it wasn't already, Linney has just bagged his eighth of the season sensational stuff I mean this man this team I think could end up getting promoted we won't see it of course because that's the league season but heck with a striker like Linney and with a attacking line like that I mean McAngela Pemberton Walker Vice that's a very very dangerous combination and they're doing this to a team in the National League South hunger for getting forward here and there is Seager he has a chance and just shoots completely against the defender just blocked Ballinger I'm quite sad to see Ballinger have a bad game. Like I said, I have him on my Twitch save. Uh, Evans, saved by Lavacombe. 
ball was too close to him anyway. But yeah, Ballinger, I was just hoping he would do a little bit more today, but yeah, maybe National League South is not his level. Jean Mattel. Haynes. Hunkerford trying to work something here. And there is Seager. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> that was awful. Oh, I wish we got a replay of that. I could replay it, but I suppose you could just pause and go back to it, to be honest with you. But that was terrible. That was awful. And if that's their strikers for the season, Hungerford are in deep, deep trouble. They've got problems. Linney into Penfold. Saved by the keeper. Very good shot. And you can see the Hungerford faithful behind that goal. Just praying for something to cheer but. uh I don't think that's going to be the case today. They, their strikers, they couldn't shoot fish in a barrel by the looks of it. Look at the XG, it's just getting worse and worse for Hungerford. McCangela. Has been cleared, but only as far as Dodds. Again, Camp's in their half. Good, I was about to say, good save. Oh, is it? Oh, it's in. Oh, I thought that was, I thought that was going to be offside. And then it thought, oh, it's just going to go right across the goal. Nope. It just gets worse for Hungerford. In off the post, just crawls across the line. And that is 3-0, and this is this is a true humiliation. Great work here by Charters. A great shot, actually, but too close to the keeper. But Walker Rice just didn't give up, and it paid off. The persistence did well. In off the post, just crawling across the line. I mean, yeah. I, wonder, I doubt Hungerford have actually used up their full 100% energy because they've still got a, their players have still got a lot of energy in them. They haven't given 100%, have they? So what's gone on with their squads? Have they, has their manager just lost the dressing room? Maybe he lost it at half time when, quite literally, when he was throwing water bottles and teacups all over the place. Maybe he hit a player in the head with a shoe. Penfold back over to the left wing, and yeah, FC United just toying with him now. Cup set, not cup set. It's not on the cards. The cup set is effectively confirmed, unless it's the mother of all comebacks by Hungerford in these last few minutes. Oh, hit the bar as well. My goodness, it's just. It could have been six or seven today. I mean, come on. What a showing by FC United, but Hungerford have just been desperately poor anyway. Doesn't matter that that's gone over. It's it's a foregone conclusion at this point. Just wow. Walker Rice, Linney, McAngela, Pemberton, they've just been dominant. The defence, to be fair, I, I think FC United's defence could have taken a day off and they still wouldn't concede. But Cousin Dawson's been, done well to keep the ball moving forward. I'm not talking about there, I'm talking about earlier in the match. Right. If Hungerford could get themselves a consolation, it's not going to mean much. No, nope, never mind. They they can't keep hold of the ball, ladies and gents. Non-league. Neither can FC United. Oh, they can. No, that's the difference. FC United can keep hold of a ball. Hungerford don't want the ball. And Linney is through here, and that could be four. Oh, just saved. Just turned around the post by Davis. I've just realised we had more highlights in the last four minutes than we've had in the last 20. And there is Linney, and the ball's just cleared by Haynes. Jean Mattel can keep the ball in, it's not going to make a difference. It is indeed all over, and it is a 3 0 thumping for FC United of Manchester. It's the first cup set we've witnessed this season. Probably not the last, especially. We are going to be watching FC United in the third qualifying round. And if they've done this to a National League South side, a 1.78. XG, if they did this to a National League South side, what are they going to do to another National League South or North side in the third qualifying rounds? If that's if who they get. I think we could see FC United all the way into the first round. This is just a pure speculation at this point, pure prediction. Who knows? It's the FA Cup at the end of the day. They could be on the end of a cup set. But we will be back to see who FC United's next victims will be. So the draw has been made now for the third round of the FA Cup. And we can now see who FC United, poten well not potentially, who they have got in the next round. And here they are. Away at Horsham. Now I think Horsham are the same level as FC United. We just check, yep, they're in the pitching in Isthmian Premier Division, Tier 7. They're also in a playoff hunt. Well, well, well. That is not too shabby, actually. So we're going to get two teams who are very evenly matched in the next round. And by the looks of it, 
yeah, Horsham are a team who just hover between tier 7 and 8. So that will be who we will next witness. FC United away at Horsham in the third qualifying round of the FA Cup. If you've enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit a like down below and click subscribe for more Football Manager content, especially as this series continues. And also, my Unemployed to Legends series has also returned. Uh, it'd be magnificent if you could check that out. It's going to be a very, very fun series. Uh, fun challenge, if you will, with Norwich City. But thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.